In this video, I'll cover the four different ways to fetch data in Next.js 13. The first way is to fetch data on build time, then cache it and serve the cache data to every website visitor. Now to do so, let's just declare an async function called uh, get data. Um, and we're going to retrieve data from the public Star Wars API. And so uh, GitHub Copilot wrote the code for us, which is almost correct, just that we want to fetch data from uh, swappy.dev. Uh, here later on, we're just going to await this data in this async function or well, in our server component. And now we can simply use the data. So here we can just call data.name, which would basically return the name of the first person in the API. Now, this is pretty much the default way of fetching data in Next.js 13 server components. It's also called static site generation because the data is static. We fetch it on build time, then we cache it, and we serve the cache data to users on every request. Now, it's great if the data doesn't change often, so you wouldn't have to rebuild the page every time the data changes. But this is where we come to the second way of fetching data in Next.js 13, which is incremental static regeneration. Now, the term may sound fancy, but all it is, it's the same static site generation, but the data gets refreshed once in a while. Now, to achieve this, we're simply going to add an option to this fetch uh, request, which is next column revalidate. And we're going to specify the amount of seconds we want to pass until the next revalidation. So let's just specify 10, for example. Now, every 10 seconds, if there's a new website visitor, the page will get rebuilt with the fresh new data that was once again fetched. Now, here comes the third way of fetching data. If you want the data to always be fresh, not just revalidated, but always on every single user request to be fresh, we're just simply going to swap this option out for a uh, cache no store option. Now, these were the three ways of fetching data on the server using Next.js. But what if we want to fetch data on the client? The way you fetch data on the client side in Next.js 13 is basically how you fetch data in general in React using, well, client side data fetching. So I've created a new component called Star Wars character. I'm importing it here into our page and inserting it into our JSX. Now the component itself is a really simple React client side data fetching component, which just fetches data, stores it in the state and displays it in this H1. Now the only difference that we're going to make is using the use client directive. All components in Next.js 13 are server components by default. Therefore, if we want to use a client side component, we want to specify it using the use client directive. And we can test if it worked. So if we actually got the data on the client and if we didn't use this use client directive, we would get a nasty error since, as I've said, in Next.js 13, every component by default is a server component. And if we try to do uh, some client side data fetching on the server component, it's just not going to work. Hopefully this video helped you. Now go play around with it and see you in the next one.